Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and this week we are doing week three of the Blanket Cal, the Ode to Anna Cal, and we are doing my grandma's favorite stitch, which was the V stitch. Now the blanket I have here is one of those heavy, heavy blankets where she used the V stitch, but she did it in, um, you know, two strands which makes the blanket really chunky but also really heavy and it's lovely to have this really heavy blanket on your bed but for us in our cal of course we're just using one strand so I am going to suggest that we do the normal v-stitch just with the one strand of course but I have made this a little bit more interesting yeah there's a design <laughs> <laughs> I have made a little heart in our design of our v-stitch so it's not at all complicated just follow the instructions and also there is of course a diagram on the WordPress blog Ophelia Talks Crochet and you should be able to work out from there how to insert this heart into our design today. But of course, we are starting with a divider section, which is slightly different to our previous divider section. So I hope you will enjoy this episode and I'll see you in the tutorial. So let's get started with our divider section. So in between each stitch block, we are going to do dividers, just like we did between week one and week two here. So week one, we did the stitches and then week two, we started with a divider section. So that's what we're doing in week three as well. Here we did a row of double crochet, a row of double crochet, then a row of double crochets, but in crosses. So I call them kisses. Then another two rows of double crochets. So in this divider section of week three, we are going to do a row of double crochets, a row of kisses, a row of double crochets, a row of kisses, a row of double crochets. Okay, so after finishing the baby blocks, we are now going to be doing two chains, then we turn, we turn all our work and of course it's getting bigger, <laughs> so it's more difficult to manage this under the camera of course there we go right let me just hold on everything right and now we are going to get started by doing a row of double crochets so this first one counts as the first one so we are going to do 194 double crochets in this row so that means you're going to do one double crochet in the next 194 stitches there we go and um, of course you go into the stitches, but if it's a chain space like here, you go round it. And let me just get this, because like I said, it's getting bigger. <laughs> so to see the stitches, you sort of tip it towards you and you pick up both the loops into the stitch here. And then around it and in it. So you continue like this to the end of the row and then I will see you to make some kisses. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of every new tutorial I post. Okay, so I managed to make it to the end of my row here. We are now going to chain two. We are going to turn and now we are going to make kisses. So, yarn over, we're going to do a double crochet in the, not this one, but the next stitch. So sti um, skip one stitch and in the next one do a double crochet. Then we do a double crochet in the stitch that we skipped. There we go. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way to the end. And as you know, because of the amount of stitches and the stitch repeat, we will have um, at the end we will have two double crochets to end with so that's okay we can live with that <laughs> okay I will see you at the end of the row and 
and I've made it to the end of my first row of kisses here and indeed yes I have got two locations left where I am just going to do two double crochets and in the turning chain of course there we go there for the second one there we are okay so now once again turning chain of two chains you turn and now we are going to do a, a row of just double crochets and you start in the next one so the chain here counts as your first one coming out of that first chain so a row of double crochets all the way to the end so 194 because of course this one here is your 195th I will see you at the end of the row and I have made it to the end of the row now I do have to say I have been putting stitch markers and counting my stitches just to make sure that you do have your 195 stitches again because obviously you know sometimes you might just I don't know with putting them back on top of these crosses sometimes I sort of think is that one is that not one so I just made sure it was so I've got my amount of stitches again so let's get started we start with a chain which counts as our first stitch then we turn our work and we are going to skip one stitch do a double crochet in the next one then we do a double crochet in the one that we skipped and off we go again so another row of kisses see you at the end and indeed I have made it to the end of my kisses and I have another two double crochets left there so I did them there so now for row 69 once again chain two turn and we are going to do one double crochet in each stitch along the row there we go okay so you are doing 194 which of course makes 195 with that ch turning chain or the chain here so we'll see you at the end of that <music> So I have made it to the end of my row here. This is the last row of the divider section and now we are going to start on our main part. So row 70, we're going to start with a chain two, then we are going to do another chain, we're going to turn, we're going to skip one stitch and do a double crochet in the next stitch. Now we are going to start and end every row with a box like this. Okay, so three chains, um, skip a stitch and do a double crochet in the next stitch. The reason why, of course, it again is for the stitch count. Okay, if we um, do these last three stitches or the first three stitches and the last three stitches of our round like this, then our stitch count works out in the middle. Okay, so don't forget, each row starts with a box and ends with a box. Now, we are going to do V clusters. So, we are going to skip one stitch. In the next one, we are going to do... Let me just do it so I can see clearly which one it is. There we go. In the next one, we are going to do a double crochet. A chain and a double crochet all in that same next stitch okay so this is a V cluster okay a V cluster is a double crochet a chain and a double crochet so now we are going to skip two stitches in the third one we are going to do another V cluster double crochet chain one and a double crochet Okay, so you have two skipped stitches, then you work in the third. You skip two stitches and you work in the third with another V cluster. 
double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, this is how you are going to continue for the rest of the row. And like I said, the last three stitches will make a box. So I will meet you when you have to make your box. <laughs> Okay, so I have made it to the end of my row. I now have one, two, three, four stitches left to do. So one, the first one here is for my stitch repeat. Then we have three stitches left to make that little box. So I am going to do a double crochet in the next one. There we go. So skip one, double crochet in the next one, chain one, and again, skip one and double crochet in the next one okay so we finish like this so every row will be started with a box as i said before and finished like this with a box as well so now for row 71 we are going to chain three turn skip this one here and do a double crochet here Okay, so we make our little box. There we go. Okay, and like I said, we can use those little boxes later on, so don't worry about having to make them. And now we are going to place a V cluster in the chain spaces of the V clusters. So let me just show you. So into the chain space there, we are going to do a double crochet, a chain, and a double crochet into the next chain space with a double crochet a chain and a double crochet and this is how we are going to continue so at the end you will make a box you will start again with a box and you are going to do a total now of six V stitch rows so we are already working on our second one okay so this is one two and then another four on top of that okay so i will see you at the end of your six rows okay so i have made it to the end of my sixth row um, it's looking really nice i love this look and so i have now done six rows of v clusters now, in fact, if you count them, so you have your boxes on the side, so that's good. So one box here and one box at the end. And if you count your Vs, you should have 63 of them. So now we are going to try and find the middle V. So you count 32 Vs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. And then the 32nd V, so this is 31. The 32nd one here, that is your middle V, right? So, this is going to be important because from now on we are going to make a little design in our work. And so we are going to use this one as our starting point. Um, I have in the pattern, I have a worked out exactly how many stitches you need to do before how many after how many over the pattern then um, but here in the video i am going to try and explain it to you visually so um, you can see it you can see what's happening and you know what to do now um, if i was to do it with all the numbers and everything like i have it in the pattern it would take too long for the video so it, we'd be here for hours uh, so what we are going to do so you've got your 32nd v indicated with a stitch marker okay now i am going to put my hook in again turn as usual and i will meet you at that 32nd v so we're just doing our box and then our v stitch as we were before so V clusters into the chain spaces I will meet you in a moment okay so I have made it back 
with doing my V clusters uh, all the way to my um, marked V cluster. But I'm going to put a black thing in it here because <laughs> I just didn't see that white one. <laughs> okay, so making sure you do not miss this one. You are going to bridge that cluster by doing a chain three. One, two, three. Just skip the cluster and go straight into your next cluster doing your normal V cluster. Okay, so we've made a hole. So this is the tip of our heart. And now we are just going to continue doing our row of V clusters. We are also just going to do the turn and come back. So I will see you right before you meet this here i will see you here so i can tell you what to do okay so i'm back so earlier we did this hole i worked my way to the end of the row that was row 76 now i've come back doing row 77 and this time i am going to work until just before the hole. So we work our V stitches as normal on either side of our design, but each time, now that we have this one, which is situated above the one with the stitch marker, we are going to work from that. So each row now, we are going to make a, what I'm calling an outline hole. <laughs> I know, I come up with the worst names. <laughs> Um, before and after the initial outline hole okay so in the next row we will be making them even before that and before and before okay so that's what we are going to do but in between the outline holes we are going to put double crochets just normal double crochets to make the actual heart so this is what we are going to do now before I go any further in the pattern, it will tell you exactly how many V stitches, V clusters, sorry, V clusters you have to do, right? So it will, you'll be able to count them. So in row 76, the previous row here, we did 31 V clusters. Now I did 30 because there's one less, okay? So one less, then we're going to do the outline hole, which is one, two, three chains then around this chain here we are going to have to put double crochet so we're just going to put them around and we put three double crochets there we go okay so we are going to put a hole in front of the initial hole but also a hole behind the initial hole so chain three skip this v cluster and you start again on your 30 v clusters for the rest of the row see so that is what we are going to do i'll be back for the next one but then i will let you get on with it um like I said, you can go and consult the pattern with all the numbers of the V clusters that you have to do. You can also consult the diagram, of course. And I will tell you uh, when I'm going to be back to assist you again to do something slightly different. But for now, this is what we are going to be doing. And I will see you when I am back here to make the other outline holes and to do more double crochets okay so i finished row 77 i'm now coming back row 78 and once again i've done one less cluster so in this case 29 now i'm going to do an outline hole over this cluster so that sounds funny doesn't it outline hole it sounded better in my head <laughs> one two three chains okay over this cluster 
So skip that V cluster. Now we do as before, three double crochets in the outline hole or in the chain space in any case. <laughs> Then we do three double crochets on top of the double crochets that we already have. There we go. And then of course now we have the other outline hole and we do three double crochets. Why is my yarn not... okay. <laughs> Got stuck under the blanket. Um, three double crochets in the chain space there we go okay and then we are going to do another outline hole so three chains and skip a V cluster and straight away into the next V cluster we start our 29 V clusters to the end of the round or row better okay so like I said, we are creating the outline with making holes. So each time we are going to make the outline hole in front of the outline hole of the previous row. Each time we're doing less clusters because we are going out. Each time also we are adding six double crochets into the middle. So here, the next row, I'm going to do three here, three, 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 okay? making it 15 double crochets in that row. So essentially we're doing V clusters, we're making a hole, double crochets, making a hole, V clusters. Okay, each time we are moving our holes outwards and we are placing more and more double crochets in between. I hope this works out. If you can't get your head around that, do please go and have a look at the pattern because I tell you there in each row how many V clusters you have to do and then that should each time lead you to being just in front of that box. So I will see you now when you have 39 double crochets in between the outline boxes. <music> And I asked you to build this until you had 39 double crochets in between the two outline holes. This, in fact, this row here is row 83. So your row with the 39 double crochets is 83. Now from here, you are going to repeat row 83 for another nine times. So I have done that because I was sitting in my sofa so comfortably and I thought I'm just going to keep on crocheting. It was late at night anyway so there was no no way I was going to film uh, at that time. But there we go. So I kept on repeating the same 39 double crochets. So remember you also have to do of course, your V-stitches and those boxes at the end and at the beginning, right? So don't forget to do those. But I, once I reached here, the row with the 39 double crochets, I kept doing that same row. So I have 10 rows. So that's what you're going to do now as well. So I asked you to do the 39. Now you are going to do the 10 rows. So it should look something like this. Once you're finished with this, do come back of course, because then we are going to create the two arches on top of the heart to finish our design. Okay, so now I am ready to start row 93. So I've done my 10 rows of 39 double crochets here in the middle of my heart. And so now I am going to get turned around. So I'm doing my little box here and I am going to do my V stitches. We are in fact going to do 25 V clusters after we do our little box there at the start. So I will see you in a moment. Mm -hmm. 
So in fact, right now I have done 24 um, clusters. So I have to do my next cluster on top of the outline hole here. So let's just do that. And that then makes 25 clusters. Now we are going to make an outline hole over the next three double crochet. So we do one, two, three chains. You skip three. And then from here, you are going to do 15 double crochets. So like we normally do. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, it's not very sharp, is it? Four. Come on. <laughs> Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Here. Okay, just let's count two, four, six. 8, 10, 2, 4, yeah, 5. So 15 double crochets. Then we are going to do another outline hole. So we are going to do 3 chains, skip 3 stitches, and we are going to do another 15 double crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. And that should leave you with three double crochets here. So we are going to make an outline hole. One, two, three. Skip these three. And now we do another V cluster on top of that outline hole from the row before. And then we just continue with doing our V clusters to the end of the row. So another, so 25 in total V clusters and then your little box, okay? So we have in fact made that sort of first, you know, bit of the arch and the indent here in the middle of the heart. And if you look at it, this, why can I not get in, this in the viewfinder? Just one moment, yeah, okay. So this bit here should be straight under that first one there okay so okay so i will now see you when you are back here in row 94 when you have done 25 and then we'll do that v cluster together so this time you'll be doing 26 v clusters in row 94 so i will meet you here again <music>Okay, so I have done my 25 clusters. Here I am doing my 26th one on top of the outline box. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to do my outline box, which is one, two, three chains. Skip three stitches here. And then we start doing double crochets as of the fourth double crochet and we are doing nine double crochets three four five six 
six, seven, eight, and nine. And that should leave us with three double crochets left over here. Perfect. One, two, three chains for an outline box. And then, of course, here we are going to start inserting V clusters again. So you do one V cluster around the chain space. There we go. Now we are going to do an outline box again. So three chains. Skip one, two, three double crochets. In the fourth one, you do nine double crochets. It will make sense. <laughs> <laughs> when we finish doing this but also you know have a look in the diagram because that will just give you an aha moment okay so there we go so this is row 94 so we are doing nine double crochets I have not counted them but I know that I should have three left over. So if I count them now, two, four, six, eight, nine, I know I have nine. OK, now, once again, we are doing an outline hole, I was calling them. So three chains, skip three. And here we are going to start doing our V clusters. So around the outline, we are going to there we go. And off we go again, doing the rest of the row in V clusters. And I will meet you once again when you are coming back. So as you can see, the heart is taking shape. So when you are coming back in row 95, I will meet you once again here so we can do the top of the arches here together and then off you go again, right? So nearly there. I will see you in the next row. Okay, so row 95, I am just doing my 27th cluster into that chain space there. There we go. Okay, and now we are going to do basically the same thing as last time, but of course we're making it smaller again. So again, three chains, skipping three double crochets into the fourth one. We are going to do three double crochets. We then also have three double crochets left. We do three chains, skip those three double crochets, and we do three V clusters. So one on the chain space, one into the V as we are used to, another one into that chain space. And then we are ready again to do three chains. One, two, three. Skip the first three double crochets into the next double crochet for three double crochets. Then we make a hole. So three chains, skip three double crochets and you start doing the V clusters again until the end, so 27 of them. And there we go. See? There we are. There's the heart. So I will meet you again when I'm here because we're just going to finish off the top of the heart. Okay? So I'll see you in row 96 when you're there again. Okay, so I am just doing my 28th V cluster. There we go, on top of that outline hole. Then we have to finish our outline, so we are going to do three chains. I'm going to skip here. And I'm going to do 
another V cluster in the next outline hole. So that sort of completes that arc. And now we are going to just do V clusters in the V clusters. So in total we'll be doing five V clusters. So that's three, four, and then the fifth one is in that chain space of the outline hole. <laughs> oh, what a name, eh? Then another outline hole. So one, two, three chains. Skip this V cluster in the next outline hole. There we go. OK, so basically we've now completed our heart. So we've made sure that the outline is all around. And now I am going to just keep going with doing my V clusters again. So we started this design by doing some rows of V clusters and we are going to finish this design. Hang on. No chain. Yep, there we go. Uh, by doing rows of V clusters. OK, so from now on, you are going to finish this row, which is row 96. And then on top of that, you are going to do another six rows, just like we did here of just V clusters. OK, so this is your time again to just sit down and enjoy crocheting. Um, Put something nice on the TV or some nice music or whatever and put another six rows of V clusters on here. So in here, in these two holes, you just put one in the middle of the chain space. OK, and you can just keep going uh, for another six rows. So Leave me a comment down below or show us your progress on our Facebook group. <laughs> So I have made it to the end of my section here. I've just done the last six rows of V stitches. I hope you like the heart that's worked in in the middle of this section here. And um, I hope you can work out how to put it in with the instructions in the video. But also, of course, there's the pattern on the WordPress blog. And I also have a diagram there. So you have some sort of visual idea of what it should look like. So enjoy crocheting this week's episode. And I will see you next week for week four. Bye bye. Here's some more suggestions for videos I thought you might find interesting. Enjoy watching!